one. And in the Bay Area, air quality has been a huge concern over the past uh, few uh, past week or so, especially with, uh, with unhealthy air quality levels. And to learn more about the impacts of air quality and our health, we have uh, Rosanna Aguilera from, from UC San Diego, Scripps Institution of Oceanography, a postdoctoral researcher. Uh, Rosanna, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you. Um, to learn more um, about the smoke impact on our health, first, just the, the visual. Um, were you surprised to see how much smoke, uh, the pictures you were seeing up and down the state, up and down the West Coast, and here in the Bay Area, was that kind of uh, shocking to see just with the, just those images? Uh, well, um, it was not perhaps shocking to see the amount of smoke, but what was really shocking uh, was to learn that so many wildfires were burning at the same time uh, over the territory in California. Um, so the amount of smoke, it's something that you would expect. Uh, considering the magnitude of all these fires burning at the same time. So, uh, but still is quite a shocking image. Um, and, and just kind of the broad perspective uh, about research, um, how smoke and the wildfire smoke can impact our health. Um, is there a lot unknown? Uh, do we, is there a lot we still have to figure out? Uh, yes, there has, there have been some studies that look at um, how, um, specific components of wildfire and smoke, so things like particulate matter, fine particulate matter, can impact um, the, for instance, the pulmonary immune cells, uh, but there's not a broad um, consensus of how or if wildfire um, air pollution is more toxic or more harmful to public health. So those are things that still need to be resolved, but there are, you know, there is evidence that, um, at least from the epidemiological point of view, that of course wildfire um, smoke triggers uh, respiratory illnesses. Um, acute effects would uh, be uh, the ones that have been observed the most, uh, but there's still also more to learn about the long-term effects of wildfire um, pollution on health. And, and as far as like your, your research uh, specifically, is there anything maybe over the past one, two years that uh, it's kind of been like a, a hob moment, kind of like you're, you know, just like, wow, that's, that's, that's interesting. Anything that, that really interests you, um, anything that you've learned uh, recently? Well, what's interesting, I think, um, in terms of air pollution is that, at least in some areas of the U.S., um, this fine particulate matter, for instance, uh, coming from traffic emissions and some other day-to-day uh, -day sources like industrial emissions have been decreasing in the past decade due to uh, mainly policy and other regulations. Uh, but it has been observed that um, uh, pollution or fine particular matter coming from wildfires has actually increased, especially in states of the Western US. Uh, and this is a trend that will continue uh, in the future, um, according to some projections by uh, research um uh, that has shown and and uh yeah so that's why it's important to consider this effect of a specific you know wildfire um pollution on health um and, you know and here you know it seems like over the past few years we're talking about wildfires big wildfires and then the the, the smoke impacts so we kind of have air quality scale from you know good air quality in the green and then uh yellows oranges and you know last week we're in the reds and even some purples um, it means, you know, just unhealthy and especially unhealthy for sensitive groups. Um, let's say we're in the purple and, and, and you have a family member that says, hey, I want to go out for a bike ride. Um, would, you, would you enthusiastically say, no, don't do it? Or, would you, or is it just something to be, be, be careful with? Or do we even know um, how that, how that hour-long bike ride could, could impact your health going out in, in really unhealthy air? Uh, yeah, I would definitely discourage that person to go out for a bike ride if, if yeah, the levels are purple or uh, red. Um, uh, also, I would assume the, um, uh, the smoke will, uh, you know, would impede your uh, visual field also, would, would impair your um, uh, sense of orientation, perhaps, because you wouldn't be able to see much further, uh, so. I would definitely discourage a person because of uh, also the um, obviously the smoke uh, impacts on on the respiratory um, health. But but at this point, we we can't say specifically how like that hour long bike ride that possibly could have lasting impacts uh, with your health. We just don't know um, just yet. Uh, yes. Well, 
we, I think most people are looking at acute effects of smoke on health. Uh, and there's not much yet uh, that we have learned about the long-term effects. I think there's more on that on um, occupational hazard for like five firefighters. Uh, what's the long-term effect? Because they have been exposed to uh, more of this pollution uh, throughout their life, livelihood, right? Uh, but there's not much known, I think, um, still on the long-term effects of um, this type of pollution on, on the population in general. And, and if you were to guess on a timeline of, of maybe learning more, uh, you know, um, we could have like more definitive information to say what that bike ride or run or anything like, like that can do. Do you think it's maybe it's in the short term, like a year or two away, some three to four years? Is there a lot of research kind of, uh, kind of you know, happening right now? I'm not really sure if there's a lot going on in terms of the long-term effects, but we are learning definitely more and more about the acute effects. So um, yeah, in terms of whether wildfire is more uh, harmful or not for public health, probably that would be more in the short term, but I I'm not sure about um, um, or familiar with the research on the long-term effects so much, so. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, you know, we're happy to have this break in the air quality, and, but unfortunately, fire season continues, and uh, there's a right. chance we could have some more smoke. And I guess uh, just play it safe, right? That's your advice. Yes, definitely. And um, look for the warnings. Uh, and uh, yeah, stay safe. Okay, great. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Thanks.